Claude Opus 4.5 in Claude Desktop. Use Claude code to build out a feature in my backlog in 20 minutes, one shot. I did not expect it to build this iOS feature so smoothly. I really try to curb the hype, but right now I am in shock. The number one complaint in Claude apps is conversations getting cut off and usage limits. And apparently with Opus 4.5, that's over. Anthropic just dropped Claude Opus 4.5. We've been waiting for this one for a while. It has already solved two problems that Gemini 3 Pro and Codex 5.1 Max were not able to solve for me. That is enough of an indication how good this model is. For those two very different use cases, these other state-of-the-art models that just came out this week were not able to solve them. And I'll tell you about that in a second. Let's just go over the announcement. Our newest model, Claude Opus 4.5, is the best model in the world for coding agents and computer use. First, they show us the benchmarks. I don't care much for benchmarks. That being said, it's significantly better at Suibench than Gemini 3 Pro and GPT 5.1 Codex Max, and I can vouch for that. I've been trying to solve two different problems projects that both of these models that are state-of-the-art weren't able to accomplish and in the two hours since Cloud Opus 4.5 came out it solved it for me. Opus 4.5 is available today on our apps, our API, and all major cloud platforms. The pricing looks good. They claim it's making Opus level capabilities accessible to even more users. Time will tell about that. Updates to Cloud Developer Platform, Cloud Code, and Consumer Apps. There are new tools for longer running agents, new ways to use Cloud in Excel, Chrome, and on desktop. And then they talk about the other benchmarks. Again, every company releases the benchmarks in their own favor based on what they tested. And it doesn't really boil down to real world usage. It does seem to surpass Gemini 3 Pro and GPT 5.1, except GPQA Diamond, Visual Reasoning, and Multilingual Q&A. But I'm willing to bet you're using it mainly for coding. It is, in my opinion, still the best coding model. Here it talks about multilingual coding. What we don't see here is Swift. Most companies and models don't reference iOS development languages in their coding benchmarks because AI is still not that good at it, but it's gotten a lot better. And that is always my test to see how good a model is. And I've been trying to build out this feature for an app that none of the models could solve it. Gemini 3 Pro came out, right away couldn't solve it. GPT 5.1 Max came out, it looked like it was better, but still was not able to solve it. And Opus 4.5 hit it without a snag. And that's all I'm going to say about it. And then they talk about Claude can now solve problems in fewer steps with less backtracking, less redundant exploration, less verbose reasoning, and have dramatically fewer tokens than its predecessors. Opus 4.5 matches Sonnet 4.5's best score on Suibench Verified, but uses 76% fewer output tokens. So this model is supposedly bigger, better, smarter, and less expensive. Plan mode now builds more precise plans and executes more thoroughly, but then builds a user editable plan so we can edit it before it executes. And Cloud Code is now available in the desktop app. So you can run multiple local and remote sessions in parallel. In the Cloud app, long conversations no longer hit a wall. Cloud automatically summarizes earlier context as needed. So it auto compacts in Cloud Desktop. Your conversations will not get cut off anymore. And we've increased overall usage limits, meaning you'll roughly have the same number of Opus tokens as you previously had with Sonnet. Cloud for Excel is now in beta. Cloud for Chrome is now accessible for everyone on the Max plan. We've removed Opus specific caps. We're updating usage limits to make sure you're able to to use 4.5 for daily work, but we'll see. Okay, so Cloud Desktop looks a bit different. You now see we can toggle to Cloud Code. I just actually started my first Cloud Desktop Cloud Code feature. As we see, it's asking for permissions similar to MCP servers. I'm actually really excited to run multiple local sessions in Cloud Code via Cloud Desktop. The context here is a headache or migraine tracker. Let's just open up Xcode. And I just had it build out this feature in the backlog, a historical view that looks like Apple Health. With iOS development, especially with HealthKit, it's never a smooth process. Cloud Opus 4.5 in Cloud Desktop. Use Cloud Code to build out a feature in my backlog in 20 minutes, one shot. I did not expect it to build this feature so smoothly. So I told you about my Swift use case when Gemini 3 and GPT 5.1 came out, I decided to try and build a CRM with NADN. NADN has its strong points and its weak points. I find for more complex use cases, it's better to just build it with Python, but I wanted to see if the models were good enough to build it with NADN. And the best way I found to build NADN workflows with Cloud Code, with Codex, is in an IDE. I give it access to four MCP servers, Superbase, Context 7, the N8 NMCP server, and Bright Data for web search. So what I did is I gave them all documentation and I went out to try and get it done. Gemini 3 anti-gravity with its plan mode seemed awesome, but just made a mess. Then I gave Codex all the context, wasn't able to do it. And then Opus 4.5 came out and I gave it to it. It's a monstrosity but it works. And I think that speaks to what they're saying about Opus 4.5, where it's able to solve problems in different ways or think out of the box. I really try to curb the hype, but right now I am in shock. So let me know what you think of Cloud Opus 4.5. I'm excited to play with it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.